Hey guys, it's Emma and welcome to another college day in my life. Today is Tuesday, the 17th of April. I'm sorry, I'm so tired and so overrun with midterms, but they're not really calling them midterms, but that's what they are. It is now 9.53 in the morning, almost five o'clock. I woke up bright and early this morning at 7.15 because I really wanted to get work done. This time it sort of worked. I've been sitting here, I have um, a lot of assignments that are due this week, um, and I had a few, quite a few last week. So I j actually just asked for an extension on an essay because it is worth 20% of my grade, but that's what I'm working on now. But I'm kind of terrified of that, but yeah. So what else? So I thought I'd catch you guys up because I haven't vlogged in like quite a few days because I did a few days of vlogging like right in a row. So I had a lot of vlogs that were like pre-filmed and I'm trying to figure out my upload schedule so I like the past week and a half or whatever I done Tuesday Thursday Tuesday as in today so um let me know do you guys like that schedule out of the game assassins let my friend kill me so that way I can didn't have to stress about any work because midterms were just too stressful so no not in the game anymore um uh, but I actually didn't I wasn't killed I was I sacrificed myself future Emma coming at you. I forgot to mention there was also this thing called the Union House Party um, on Friday where uh, we had two DJs, one who I think was probably just from school, and then the second was this DJ called KLP, which is apparently like an up-and-coming artist, and um, here is some footage I got from that. Please be warned if you have like seizure or anything to just skip, I think, 30 seconds ahead because there is flashing. <laughs> had sort of like a, I don't want to say a rough couple of days, but like, uh, the weather's been really bad, and I don't know if that's had a negative effect on my, like, depression and anxiety and stuff, so I've been kind of like, um, having like a lot of panic attacks, so that's another reason why I asked for an extension, because I was freaking out. Um, like last night I had a horrible panic attack around like 8, and I just like couldn't do anything, so I just like sat down and watched, um, the Disney Channel original movie Go Figure. Never gets old. I'm just gonna get some work done. I've been t rambling tea for three minutes. I'm sorry. You guys know the story. As always, got a vlog on. I tried to have the Bruins game on, but it was getting too distracting. Especially because they're at Toronto and there was just a really bad play and I just like couldn't watch it. Um, and then here I'm doing... So I loaded some P a PDF onto my OneDrive of this article that I think I'm gonna use in my paper. Other thing is they want us to have like 15 to 20 sources and then like reference all those sources. So that's kind of crazy. And this paper is supposed to be I think 2,000 words. Let's check because honestly I'm curious. 1,500 words is the limit. How do they expect me to get that many? Okay, so this is where I don't understand how many sources they want to get me to read. But yeah, so this is basically I'm talking about how... Um, indigenous Australian history is seen is like right under the surface of modern day culture um, and then my my thing is like yeah the indigenous history of Melbourne is hidden just below the surface of the modern day urban center if you know how to look for it if you know to look for it still teetering around with that word the wording but that's basically my thesis I think but yes so that's what I'm working on, and so yeah, I'm just going to be 
researching this and we'll see where the day takes us. Also forgot to mention it's been freezing and I, you get, okay my friends are gonna be like Emma you're from where it literally is negative 10 degrees and I was fine but it's cold I've been used to this Melbourne weather of like 80s and 90s and it's in the 60s and 50s and so for the third day in a row I'm wearing a sweater this is my last sweater though so yeah it's been cold I'm literally huddled up with a blanket at my desk because my heater is on so it's cold that's all okay guys so it is now 11 40 a.m i had my lunch i forgot to show you i just had a grilled ham and cheese and like three to literally three doritos so now um update i got my extension on my paper so praise jesus love i'm so excited uh, because that i mean i'm still gonna work on it like all the time and try to get it done as well, it's going to take me until Friday, which is when my extension is anyways, but yeah. So I'm really happy about that. Obviously still going to work on it, but yeah. So for that, I just finished outlining. I'm just going to turn you around so you can see. I just finished outlining like what I want to do. So like the introduction, that's sort of like my idea or thesis statement. Then I have my three paragraphs lined out and a conclusion. It's only 1,500 words, so... We'll see what else I'm going to do. Hopefully you could see that because I just turned this around instead of like actually doing the camera. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to continue to work on this. I did a lot of reading of that. Um, I have to finish getting ready because I just don't do my makeup until I'm literally about to leave because I let my skin breathe. Because you can see I've been breaking out because of stress quite a bit. And these are like the first big pimples I've had in a while. Like I've had a lot since I've been here because I've been so stressed. But usually it's more like the little ones. So these are the first big ones I've had in a while. But yeah, so I'm going to keep working on this. I have class at 1, so I have to leave here around 1230, 1240. Um, probably closer to 1230 because this class is like my farthest class from where I live. So I'm going to... So that means I probably have like 40 minutes-ish. So like I said, I'm going to get some work done. Probably watch a little bit of YouTube while I do it just so I'm ready, um, not like brain dead when I get to my class. And I have one class, my normal. Um, I'll take you guys to my favorite little um, place on campus where we get uh, free hot chocolate or I get free hot chocolate. Um, for one of the clubs that I'm in on Tuesdays, I'm going to get some chips, as in fries, um, because I'm treating myself, um, they were like 250 <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to do that, and then I have another class at 3, but yep, that's basically my day that I have planned so far, and I'll just keep going. I was about to head out the door, but I thought I'd quickly show you guys, well, I'm going to wear like literally have my keys out, but this is what I'm wearing today. So I hope you guys can see okay, but I'm wearing this necklace from Lucky Brand with this black, um, it's a cable knit, can't really tell because it's black, black cable knit sweater from Old Navy, my Old Navy puffer vest that I've been wearing, it's really thin so it's not like that much extra layer, my usual American Eagle high rise jeggings which are actually a little bit big for me which is good which means I lost a little bit of weight since I got here and then unfortunately the outfit kind of ends with my horrible bright Nikes but I have a blister on my right in, um, on my right foot and other shoes hurt so this is oh. yeah. yeah High class, hence taking out my school stuff. But yeah, so now I'm going to finish taking the notes for my classes because I didn't get to finish them. And then one of my classes, I tried doing notes in my chem class, I tried doing notes in my notebook, but I got a new professor today because they switch halfway through in this class. 
and his style is not applicable to handwritten notes. Sorry, getting my blanket around me. So I'm going to try typing out notes for this class from now on. So we're going to test that this week and then if I see how that works versus handwritten notes. <sighs> also, mini rant. Okay, worst thing about going back to living in communal bathrooms, especially co-ed communal bathrooms, is seeing how many people don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. I, it's, I've seen girls, I've seen boys do it. It is disgusting. It's also just a level of intimacy, like, that I don't need. So, yeah. I'm gonna get to doing this thing. <laughs> So I just went through and added like this little diagram and any notes that I couldn't finish in this class this is for my bioethics class. So I'm going to take this and then open up a new page on OneNote and add the notes in and then I'm going to do my chemistry notes. But I'll probably just do the bioethic notes and then I will make my dinner. So update on waking up at 7.30 in the morning or 7, 15, or whatever. One, don't know how I ever woke up at 5.30 in the morning after going to bed at 11 or 11.30. Don't know how that happened. I was younger, even though that was like only three years ago or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, so it's literally 5.40 and I am so tired because this is like the equivalent of being um 7.40. Um, for when I normally wake up, which is normally when I'm, like, stopping doing work because I try to end around 8 or so, unless I have a lot of work to do, which I do. So, I'm going to try to pump out a few more hours, but I'm trying to be productive. And, uh, yeah, you just hit your wall earlier, but then because you woke up earlier, it's like you have more time. I don't know. I'm gonna make some food, so hopefully my brain will work. Okay, sorry, the lighting got really bad because the sun just set. It is now almost 6.30, I'm literally falling asleep. Um, I just finished typing up my um, bioethics notes into my OneNote. So now I might take a little break just because literally I'm so tired. Um, and then I'll do my chem notes. I did eat my dinner. I just had leftover spaghetti bolognese, like I say all the time. It's my go-to, easy peasy, three ingredients, plus olive oil, but three ingredients. But um, once I go to the grocery store, hopefully soon, probably more like this weekend, I'll have, I have ideas for new recipes, which I'll show you guys. But yeah, so I'm going to... Yeah, I'm a, I need a break. You can tell I'm literally losing my brain. Okay, guys, it's a great day. <laughs> Kidding. But I just finished mug painting. It's now about 7.45, so it's about 45 minutes. I'll show you my mug in a little bit. But more importantly, do you see this? Do you see this? My heater is on. There's heat going to come out. I thought it was broken or turned off, like, for the whole haul. Turns out the plug it was in just died so now I don't have a phone which is fine but like my landline but I have heat oh my gosh I can feel it already you don't understand like I've literally been sleeping in sweaters and pants freezing because I literally just have a sheet and my blanket so this is a great so day here is the mug I made it just came out of the oven so it's like extremely hot but it's basically just got little little strawberries on it and I'm just working on my chem notes. I have the like slides pull up here and then I'm just typing them up and screenshotting the formulas and stuff because it frankly takes too long to do it. And I'm um, of course watching Hawaii 5 slash just listening to it while I do it.